welcome to another video. Today, I thought I would try something a little different in this video. I've mentioned a little bit here and there in some of my other videos that writing is one of the passions that I've held for as long as I can remember. I've always enjoyed telling stories and writing creatively. I don't know why, but the month of February makes me want to read poetry. Maybe because of Valentine's Day and, you know, I think of like love poetry and sonnets and all of those types of writing that makes one think of love. And uh, this week, actually, I was going through some old files uh, from writing I had done over the years. And I stumbled upon some poetry that I had written um, at different points in my life. And I thought today I would share four of those poems and give you a little bit of, you know, reference and context for when I wrote the poem and what sort of inspired. So if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Erin. I am a content creator here on YouTube and I also have an Instagram. I am an aspiring author and I have always wanted to be a published author one day. So to help me get over my fear of sharing some of my writing on a larger scale, let's just jump into the video and I will read you some of my poetry. So I will be reading the poems from this journal. Um, I did not originally write these poems in this journal, but because I use my phone to film my videos, I needed to have the poems transferred onto uh, some paper. So I've added them to this journal. The first poem that I'm going to be sharing is one that I wrote in a creative writing class in my senior year of college. It was such a fun class. I wish that I had had the opportunity to take more creative writing classes when I was in college. I wrote this poem uh, approximately in the fall of 2007. And for this particular assignment, we were studying poetry specifically, and we had a few poems uh, to help illustrate different types of meter and rhyme. We were to pick a poem and then pick a line from that poem as a jumping off point to write our own poem. The poem that I selected is titled Seen Fleetingly from a Train, and it's written by Bronislaw Maj. So the title of my poem is The Lost Vision. I sit silently in my seat and wonder at the scenes flashing past my window, images seen fleetingly from a train, my train, rolling green hills speckled with shadows from puffy white clouds above, seagulls swoop and dive daringly at the gray waters of the sea. Just as my eyes become intrigued, the vision is lost to sudden blackness, the tunnel. I, I don't consider myself a poet and I find poetry actually quite challenging. I, I feel like my natural type of creative writing is more towards fiction. And this is probably one of my, one of the poems that I'm most proud of because I had to match a certain rhyme and meter and this poem took me quite a while to construct and get just right. And I actually did, when I was looking through my files, um, was reminded that I had submitted this poem for a literary journal. So I wrote this in the fall of 2007 and I think I submitted it uh, to the journal in the spring of 2008. And yeah, it's one that even today, I'm, I'm very proud of what I wrote. And um, the imagery was inspired by when I had studied abroad in the summer of 2007. I was, you know, taking the train a lot all throughout England and Wales and Scotland. And 
it was such a unique experience for me because growing up in the U.S., I didn't really have the opportunity to ride trains as a form of public transportation. And I spent so much time on the trains when I was studying abroad and it just left this lasting impact on me. And um, yeah, I wanted to capture that in this little poem. The next poem I wrote on October the 19th in 2010, and it was inspired by an old stone monument that I came upon in this, it was a park um, in Bristol, England. I was there visiting a friend who was attending university at the time. I was just taking a, a walk in the morning and stumbled upon this park and saw this monument and just felt really inspired to write a poem for this monument. So the poem is titled, A Peaceful Park in Bristol. Birds sing, a cool autumn breeze, tall trees surround along with green grass and distant traffic sounds. Alone stands a monument made of humble stone, but for what it commemorates, no one here seems to know. God bless the lives that were slain, those glorious dead of the two world wars. It's a really simple poem. I, I think I remember writing it while I was in that park and then, you know, revised it a couple of months later. But it there was something about this very simple stone monument that just drew my attention and the uh, placard that was at the base of it uh, just mentioned uh, to the glorious dead of the two world wars. And yeah, I just, I felt really inspired to write this poem and to capture that memory in poetry. The next poem is one that I wrote, um, I know I wrote a couple of drafts of it. The, the final draft that I was able to find in my digital files was dated August 2011. But if memory serves me correctly, I, I feel like I started writing the poem much earlier than that and, you know, worked on it over time. This poem was one that I wanted to write when I was starting to come out to trusted friends and family, which you know, happened over a, a period of time. And I wasn't out to everyone at the, at the time when I wrote this poem. And I, I, I just remember like having all of these feelings of like, yes, I know who I am and I want to share this. And I, I don't want to continue to live in fear and just all of these all of these different feelings um, and the, from that time and those experiences, um, it inspired this poem. Um, so I think it was, it was definitely a, a type of catharsis for me while I was coming out. So this poem is titled Light Bulb. For so long, I have hidden this secret that I scarcely heard its proud voice singing from the secured vault. Now embraced, I see myself clearly as I stare into the mirror of authenticity. The facade is stripped and destroyed, but I'm struggling to explain, to express, to exclaim this truth, afraid to utter the words that will cast off the veil I once wore to be acceptable and ideal. My fear of the unknown Reaction, response, ridicule for this truth is paralyzing. I mute the song, the lyrics, I edit or omit entirely because it's simpler. I must unsheath my courage, hold it high above my head and make an unyielding declaration of who I am. And for the last poem, this is one that I'm really sad I didn't put a date and I don't know why. And the particular file wasn't, um, 
not that it was corrupted, but it, it saved as a weird type. Um, I think I had originally written it on my old laptop that <laughs> just like totally quit on me. And I just so happened to back up this rough draft on uh, my Google Drive. So I don't have a date. This particular backup file doesn't have a date attached to it. Um, but just looking at where it was saved in like my writing folders, my best guess is that I wrote it somewhere between the years of 2015 and 2019, which I realize is a really long span of time, but I, I didn't have any other context clues as far as like, it wasn't organized in a particular folder. Like I, you know, I have some that were organized by like where I was living at the time. So I know, you know, roughly when those bits of writing were written, but this one was just hanging out in the general creative writing folder. So yeah, just going off of memory, I think it was somewhere between 2015 and 2019. And this poem is in a very early draft stage. Um, it is incomplete. It is not formatted. It doesn't have a particular rhythm or rhyme to it. I think this was quite possibly the very first draft of this, what I was intending to be a poem. Um, but I still wanted to share it because even in its raw roughness, it's it's got a lot of passion. <laughs> so um, I hope you enjoy it. And just, you know, I wanted to give a heads up that it does end a little abruptly, again, because it's a rough draft. So this poem is titled, The Kiss. I could feel the roughness of her tongue gently parting my lips. Her kiss was warm and full of longing. Her lips were exquisite, full and soft. The gentle sighs of pleasure that escaped her mouth sent surges through my body. Our fingers intertwined as we kissed, then caressed. I slipped my hand to the nape of her neck and traced her jaw with my thumb. Strands of her hair tangled between my fingers, then fell softly back. So there you have it. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed um, these little bits of poetry that I've written over the years and again, I do not consider myself a poet. I have, you know, over the years written, you know, poems here and there when I felt inspired and uh, particularly when I want to capture a moment um, quickly and also in like a, a really succinct form of writing. Whether you like to write poetry or fiction or nonfiction or whatever art form that you tend to gravitate towards, I hope that this video inspires you to go and pursue your artistic passion and just have fun with it. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did like this video, I would love to know in the comments, um, what is your favorite type of art that you enjoy uh, doing? Until next time, I hope you're having a lovely day and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.